Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate admitting a patient from the emergency department. Doing this uses several different parts of the EMR. So I would recommend that if you have not seen the previous videos on order entry and the chart walkthrough, that you go do that first. Let's begin. I am the hospitalist physician today. I've been asked to go see this patient in the emergency department who has been diagnosed with the pneumonia by the emergency physician. I've pulled up the patient's chart and I'm gonna go take this opportunity to go look at the ED physician's notes by going into the providers tab located here and also go into the diagnostics tab and review the diagnostics, labs, imaging, and things that have been done on this patient. After I've done that and I've gone and seen the patient, I'm coming back to now go do the actual admission for the patient. The first step of doing the admission is going into the order entry screen. I'm going to click on the orders button at the top of the screen. When I click on this button, it brings me into the order entry module. Here, I am going to select this button here called transfer. This is known as the managed transfer routine. Whenever a patient is going from one level of care to another, this would be done through a transfer routine. For example, in this case, the patient is being admitted from the emergency department and being transferred to an inpatient level of care. All admissions will be done through the transfer routine. When I click on the transfer routine, it brings up this module. Here, I'm going to have the ability to take a look at what has been ordered in the emergency department and decide whether or not I want to continue these orders or stop these orders, as well as it provides me the ability to reconcile any of the home medications. Let's go ahead and do this transfer routine. I can see the patient's being transferred from the location emergency department, and we're going to transfer the patient to the medicine floor. Here are the medications that the patient has received during their visit in the emergency department. I can see that they received some Odanzatron, and I have the ability to decide if I want to continue this as an order when they're admitted, or if I want to go ahead and stop this. I'm going to go ahead and stop the Odanzatron because when I talk to the patient, they're no longer nauseous. So let's go ahead and click stop. As I scroll down, I see that they are getting some Ringer's lactate uh, at a maintenance dose, and I'm happy with continuing that. So I'm going to go ahead and continue that medication. Now I see the patient's home medications. This patient's currently maintained on three home medications, the Lipitor, the Metformin, and the Ramipril. I'm going to go ahead and continue these home medications. I'm going to continue the Lipitor. For the metformin, I'm actually going to hold this at this time because their blood sugar was a little bit on the low side when they came in and they're quite nauseous. With regards to the ramipril, I'm going to go ahead and continue the ramipril. So I have now reconciled the home medications and I've dealt with the medications and orders that have been done in the emergency department. Now I can go ahead and place my admission order. I'm going to click on the add new button. Here, I can pull up the order sets or order individual orders. I'm going to pull up the pneumonia order set. Here it is here. When I click on it, it's going to bring up the usual admission information. So I'm admitting the patient with pneumonia. I'm going to scroll down. It defaults to their regular diet. I have no concerns with regards to any activity restrictions, so it's going to be activity as tolerated as default. If I want to change the activity, I can go in here and click this and change the activity restrictions. I'm going to request that they give oxygen if the oxygen saturations are below 92%. I already have an IV running, and as you recall, when we were in the transfer routine, we continued the IV uh, Ringer's lactate that the emergency department ordered. So I can see that this order is here 
uh, already shown that it's an active order. I'm going to ask uh, that we do obtain some blood cultures prior to starting any of the antibiotics. And now I'm given the options of what kind of antibiotics or what treatment I want to give for this pneumonia. And I'm getting the options of, is, is this a community-acquired pneumonia, a suspected aspiration, or a hospital-acquired pneumonia? In this case, it's a community-acquired pneumonia, so I'm going to click into this section. It gives a lot of reminder statements, uh, which you can review, and then it goes down into the medication options. In this case, I'm going to go with option A. I'm going to give the patient some ceftriaxone, one gram. I'm going to scroll down now to the options for any Ventolin or Atrovent treatments. This patient did have a little bit of a uh, wheeze, so I'm going to allow them to have some Ventolin if they need it. For VTE prophylaxis, this patient is not at risk for uh, VTE, so I'm going to select here that the patient's VTE prophylaxis is not required. For laboratory investigations, I'm going to ask that they do a CBC in the morning, as well as an electrolytes in the morning, a creatinine, a urea. And that's all the blood work I want for the morning. Uh, for the chest x-ray, I'm going to ask for a chest x-ray routine, which will be tomorrow, and I'm going to assess the pneumonia. And at this time I don't need any other consultations or investigations done, but I will ask respiratory to see this patient. This patient also um, would like the nicotine replacement protocol. So it's a suggested order set. I'm going to click on the nicotine replacement protocol. And I'm going to select the nicotine replacement patch therapy as directed. It's going to ask me how many cigarettes they smoke. And I'm going to select here between 21 and 30. And then it automatically fills out the rest of the requisition for me. Now I have done all the orders that I need for this patient. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the submit button. It gives me some warnings to let me know that a couple of the medications I have prescribed or ordered um, have some first dose warnings. They're asking me now if I want to assess whether or not to give the medication now or wait till the next dosing time. I'm going to go ahead and just leave that for now. It now asks me for my PIN number to electronically sign off the order. And I can review all the orders here beforehand just to ensure that this is indeed everything that I want ordered. And then I select enter. And now the admission has been processed.